tempered glass screen protectors. I've got three of them. I'm actually four because I've got another one for the iPhone 4. But these are in, in lieu of the plastic ones that get all boogered up and scratched. Now this one was the first one I put on. And I only have one little spot on it right there where it's got a speck up underneath the screen. But it fits and looks just like the screen. It's hard like the screen. It doesn't get scratched. And if it were to break, it'll break most likely the first pane of glass, which is tempered glass. And you can peel it off. And it would save your screen, or at least from, or at least uh, more likely save your screen. This one I did almost perfectly. I don't see any bubbles in it at all. I should have recorded this one because it went on so great. But it goes right along the edge. The only odd thing about it is this, it sticks up. It's like it's three mil, uh, what was it, 0.3 millimeters or something? I'm not sure what it is exactly, but it's it sticks up on the button a little bit and it's kind of awkward feel. But other than that, it's pretty neat stuff. I would recommend it because I'm about to do it on two more phones. All right, well, this is from the other one, but we have selected a place where it's less likely to have uh, stuff floating around, which is the bathroom. And we have an ionic breeze sucking the stuff out of the air. This one is for the iPhone 5. And it comes with an alcohol prep, a dust thing. What is this for? I've seen this. I guess you put it on your button if you want it. Oh, cool. Okay. Dust absorber. Okay. Well, the other ones didn't come with that either, but we'll rub that on there, I guess. All right. Start with the alcohol swab. <clears throat> and then. Clean this up. This does have minor scratches on it. I think I see one there. One around here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. No, it looks pretty good. But there's a little bit around the bottom too where I guess the case was wearing on it. Turn yeah. It, off. it was like an otter box or something. But it should cover that up well. Okay. I guess this thing, I guess you get sticky and then you get the dust off of it. I'm not sure though. I'm not going to use it because I didn't use it with the other ones. Let me look at it real quick, make sure I got everything clear. Good. Wash your hands real good, don't leave any oils on it. Take this out. Try not to stir up anything on your clothes either. Now this will peel back and you'll affix it to the screen after you do it. I've been doing it by aligning the uh, home button on the bottom, which is kind of tough to do, but let's see if I can get it done. There it goes. And it seems to adhere better too. Uh oh, I got a corner. Funny. But it seems to have worked pretty well. It's on. Going down. It's even went well. Yeah. Mm, it's a little bit off. Is it just yeah. not centered or is it? It's a little bit more on this side than this side. Can we try it again? Sure. Okay. Oh. All right, well, we'll uh, see if I can pull it off here. Go ahead and stop and off. Right, we decided not to 
peeled it off because it's it is on the screen it's just a little funny on the edge it's, it might actually disappear after a little while but uh, I don't think I left any bubbles in this either can you see it no looks really good no dust specks or anything yeah it makes my little scratch look better I think <laughs> yeah I think the, the scratches get they're like absorbed you can't even tell they're there anymore so well, let me get the last phone and we'll take care of that one too. You gonna put the button on there? Oh, didn't really. That's all right. I didn't get it though. Here, if you wanna look at it or not. All right, here we go. There it is. Looks kind yeah, of. You got a little lopsided. Square. Oh well, it, it's okay. All right, this is the last one that I have. It's the 4, iPhone 4. 4S. 4S, oh yeah. It's not, it's not outdated yet. Same size though. Yeah. This one might have a few more scratches on the screen. I can't know if you can tell. Mm. But... Now this one... Didn't come with anything. Didn't come with, oh, so I'm using the packet, the stuff from the packaging and the other glass pieces that we got. This one only came in bubble wrap between two pieces of cardboard. These are where they come from? No, uh, they China were, or? I don't know. No, I don't think they were, well, they probably are made in China, but um, they came from somewhere in the United States. So I have to wait 20 days for them. I did find out what these things do though. These guys are guide strips and you attach them to the glass. You can hold it better, but I'm gonna do it like this. I've been having pretty good luck with it. Hopefully. Now that I say that, I'll probably mess it up. There it goes. See any bubbles? You can tell it adheres. The edges look a little bit. Is it better than the one you did online? A little bit, yeah. Mm, I don't know. Uh, Maybe I'll get they, one It one says that they have, that even if you do get a bubble on it, it'll go away in two or three days. Hmm. Maybe I'll put that other little sticker that the other one came with on hers. All of these I've used with tempered, tempered glass. They're 9H hardness. They're coated with something supposed to keep the fingerprints on. They're tempered glass so that when they break, they're breaking little tiny pieces. And they, I haven't noticed any problem with the touch screen as far as using it. So it's very receptive. But that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about these, you can leave a comment. Uh, subscribe, like, comment. Boom Pals out.